Hi guys, Todd here, Product Manager for SolidWorks at Hawk Ridge Systems, and I want to go over a really interesting new enhancement to filleting in SolidWorks 2014. Okay, it has to do with the shape of the fillet now. So we can do conic shapes as opposed to just the standard circular shapes and profiles in filleting. And let's take a look at that. This is a great example of a file like this, a bottle, a molded plastic bottle, because it's got lots of converging uh, tight faces and edges coming together where they need to be blended, but as opposed to just standard circular profile, which might not be aesthetically interesting enough or comfortable to the touch you know, for a human hand, something like a conic shape will be uh, will suit the bill a little bit better. So let's look at what the a conic shape is. First of all, a quick review. Okay, it's a conic is a curve in the family of hyperbolas, parabolas, and ellipses. And it's driven by what's called a row value. And what that is is a ratio from the height of the curve divided by the uh, distance to the virtual sharp of the tangents. Okay, so the lower that number gets, you're going to get a flatter curve. D1 is going to be smaller. You're going to get a flatter curve closer to an ellipse. The higher that number, as D1 increases and gets closer to that virtual sharp, it's going to tighten up and make it a much sharper curve. Now we do have sketch tools where we can create these kinds of curves already. However, once an ellipse is sketched, it's always an ellipse. I don't have control over that row value to adjust it and make it one of these other curves. However, with the new conic sketch tool, I can do that. And now with conic fillets, it's extremely easy. Let's take a look here. So this is a circular profile fillet. Maybe okay for mechanical shapes ease of manufacturing it works great but sometimes things aesthetically they need to go above and beyond and be uh, more special or more comfortable ergonomically so we're gonna try that so let's uh, let's add a new fillet here and see how things have changed alright so there's the preview of our circular fillet it's about what we would expect but if you look in the property manager here you'll see that there's a control now for profile so if you're doing the uh, more simple mechanical parts and all you want is the kind of fillet that would be cut with the ball end cutter, then just leave it on circular and that should take care of it. However, we can go now and we can control in the profile the conic row, which we know what that means now. Okay, and you'll see here we are again. A lower number tends to flatten out that curve. And a higher number makes it sharper, again, as it approaches that virtual sharp. Okay, and all by just clicking buttons. Okay, this used to take a lot of sketch profiles using the Conic Sketch tool, as well as a lot of trimming and uh, blending in or patching in boundary surfaces with curvature control to get these kind of things to happen. It was a lot of work. It wasn't impossible, but it was much more work. Now, using our fillet tool, which has always been good in SolidWorks, we can just apply it directly to those sharp edges or to geometry. Let's look here where uh, we can control the conic radius also. So here I'll match it up to the fillet radius. 10 on the fillet and 10 on the conic radius, and that's going to be a perfect circular fillet. Okay. However, as soon as we start deviating, that's where things get interesting. Okay, I'm going to make it much smaller. Now what this is, is the conic radius is the minimum radius of curvature along this continuously variable curve. So at one point, probably right around here somewhere, it's going to drop down to 2 millimeters, the radius of curvature. So that's what tightens it up, tightens up that shoulder like that. Okay, a larger radius, just picture a 100 millimeter arc compared to a 2 millimeter arc. It's going to be a much flatter curve and that's what it does here to our fillet. It flattens it out, makes it like a very nice smooth bevel. Okay, again, the best part is all this is just me entering numbers instead of all that uh, extra features that would be required to do this. Okay, let's take it a step further. Let's go to variable and let's see how things can get real interesting here. We'll add a control point there and then we'll throw in some other edges so we can get some control points. All right, and we're going to go ahead and set this. OK, 
Okay, so there's right now, again, fillet radius, conic radius are matching, so we just got simple circular fillet going along, but now we can go to a certain point, and I'll maybe make it a little bit wider by changing the fillet radius, and then I'll change the shape by adjusting the conic radius. Okay, so now you can see as it goes from circular around this edge, it's going to vary and adjust that curve to be have this nice kind of sharper shape here uh, of that conic. Then we'll go down to the bottom and we can really see what's happening here again. There's that circular profile, but again, as soon as I change it, the conic radius, see how that shoulder hitches up or tightens up? And that's what I want on the bottom of my bottle here. So again, just like that, I get a very complex shape that would have been done with a lot of surfacing operations before. Now you can see it's all done just by applying it directly to the geometry. So pretty powerful stuff. Let's take a look uh, before we uh, sign off here, just a quick couple of examples of how else this could be used. Let's try a fillet, uh, a face fillet. Okay, what's different here? Let's bump that down a little bit. Okay, first of all, because of the angle that the uh, faces approach each other here, it's about, I don't know, 135 degrees roughly. But as it comes around the front, you can see it's much closer to about 90 degrees. And that can end up in like an, uh, an irregularly uh, shaped fillet in order to maintain that constant radius. So if, we, if it's more important for us to have a constant width fillet, that was an option before, it was a checkbox. Now you're gonna find that under your parameters. Instead of radial, you're gonna set the cord width. Okay, you see how that fillet adjusts itself. So now the radius will vary a bit, but the width of it will be uniform, or the cord width. And that's gonna control that. Now we also have these options here for curvature continuous. Okay, just to, just to up the degree of that uh, curvature matching to make things extremely smooth to reflect light a little bit better. Okay, nice way to do that. And again, there's these four options with the conic row, conic radius, as well as the option with face fillets for curvature continuity. All right. So that's a nice dramatic fillet there. Looks good. We'll go ahead and bring back the rest of the model and look at a couple more. But again, hopefully you're getting the idea here that all of this would take quite a bit of work to get these kind of things to happen uh, previously. All right, so let's look at a face fillet here where I'll just uh, jump the gap between this filleted shoulder and this one. And we can see with the standard fillet what it's going to do. But again, now that we have that control, I'll just bring in the conic radius and then I will dial that down to sharpen it up. And there's that shape with another one here. I'll just apply this right to this face. So this one, this since this edge is kind of undulating around here, this would be very tricky to do and would take a lot of surfacing operations. Now again, just by going to these controls, setting what I want, you can see how that radius is now tightening up all along that changing edge. Very attractive, very nice, and the best part for us designers is very little work required. So look for that in SOLIDWORKS 2014 applied conic fillets.